So here's a classic pulley problem we'll find in lots of textbooks. Um, on the left we have a, a set of two blocks. One is a 75 newton block and it's attached by a string that's wrapped around a pulley to a 100 newton block. And what we're going to do is we're going to release this thing from rest and as you, says, you might expect the 100 newton block since it weighs more than the 75 newton block will start going down and the 75 newton block will go up and it'll eventually hit the pulley. In this system on the right, we've got a somewhat similar situation. We've got the same 75 newton block on the left here. It's still attached to a string that's wrapped around a pulley. And on the other side, or the other end of that string, we have a 100 newton force directly applied uh, to that end of the string. And since 100 newtons is greater than 75 newtons, when we pull on this with 100 newtons, the 75 newton block is going to head up and eventually uh, hit the pulley. So the question is this, when released from rest, we're going to release both of them at, from rest at the same time. And I want to know which one of these 75 newton blocks hits that pulley first. Is it the one on the left? Is it the one on the right? Or do they hit at the same time? I guess you can give me an answer A, B, or C here. But I'm more interested in how you think through this, this problem and how you analyze it and think about it. And can you answer this problem based upon uh, rigorous first principles of mechanics? I'm speaking mostly here in terms of Newton's second law. Can you make an argument for one of these cases? So I'm going to ask you to pause the video right now while you try to work out your argument. And when you've got something, come back and I'll give you my answer. All right, so you're back. Let's uh, work through my argument. When I try to argue this one, I look at this 100 newton block right here. So I'm going to draw a free body diagram for it. And this, free, this 100 newton block uh, has a weight. So it's pulling, that gravity's pulling down with a force of 100 newtons in the minus j hat direction. Again, that's where j hat is, is upward, as I usually say it. And it, I also have a tension that I'll call T, and that's in the positive j-hat direction. Next thing I'm going to do is draw my mass acceleration diagram. So here's my block. And since the 100 newton block is heavier than the 75 newton block, you might expect that when you release this thing from rest, uh, the 100 newton block is going to start creeping downward, right? So initially it has zero velocity, and then it's then it's going to have a negative velocity. It's going to go faster and faster in the downward direction. So its acceleration, we know, uh, based, has to be downward. So I'm going to say m times a in the minus j hat direction. So I'm, I'm prescribing that direction there. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up Newton's second law. So if we write Newton's second law in the j hat direction, what do we get? Well, first of all, look at my forces. I've got uh, tension upward. I've got 100 newtons downward. And this has to equal mass times acceleration. Again, it's in the minus j hat direction. So this thing's negative here, right here. So therefore, I can solve this thing. Let me do it really quickly. So t, just move the 100 newtons over to the other side. It's going to be 100 newtons minus ma. Aha, this is this is the key to the whole problem. So again, this this minus MA was my acceleration downward. So I'm going to be, because of that acceleration, I'm going to be subtracting something from my 100 newtons. So my tension has to be less than 100 newtons in this problem over here on the left. But notice that for the problem on the right, the tension in the string is exactly 100 newtons, right? The tension of a string for in a pulley system, as long as the usual pulley, sum, pulley assumptions apply, is constant throughout the string. So for the problem on the right, I will have 100 newtons all the way around. The tension in the string will be 100 newtons there. Over here on the left system, this tension, this tension is going to be less than 100 newtons. Whereas this one, t equals 100. Aha, so now we see the two problems are indeed different. And we can definitely eliminate the same time because these are definitely different problems. Now from here, you can almost eyeball it. If I got a 100 Newton tension pulling up a, a block and a 
tension that's less than 100 newtons pulling up the same block, then the then the one then the 100 newton force is going to pull that one up quicker, more quickly. All right, so to put what I just said or what I think I just said into graphical form, let me draw a couple more uh, free body diagrams down here. So if I look at the 75 newton block for the system on the left, it has a gravitational force of 75 newtons downward or the minus j hat direction. The other 75 newton block, the one for the pulley system on the right, has the exact same weight. So 75 newtons again in the minus j hat down, j hat direction or downward. The difference is that for the system on the right, we have a 100 newton force pulling up. And the one on the left, it has a force that I'll just call T in the J, which happens to be less than the 100 newtons in the J. So it's no surprise that the system on the right is going to accelerate upward faster or at a greater rate. Therefore, the system on the right will hit that pulley uh, before the one on the left does. So there's my answer. Now you might ask why it seems the systems seem like they should be the same, and the, and the answer lies in the fact that yeah, both systems have the same force differential, right? There's a 75 newton, 100 newtons. There's a difference of 25 newtons in the system on the left. There's also a difference of 25 newtons for the system on the right. But what makes these two systems different is that the one on the left has two masses, two pieces of inertia that have to be accelerated by that force difference. Over here, I only have one mass, one chunk of matter that needs to be accelerated by that force difference. So because this one has more inertia, this one accelerates at a lower rate. This is the one that takes longer to hit the top. Bingo.